Hey, what's going on? Thanks for coming. So this video is going to be about new YouTubers that new guitar players or prospective new guitar players should check out. But before we get into that, I want to take a minute and thank everybody who's been watching the channel and subscribing and all that good stuff. Those of you that have been around since the beginning, the first like 200, like 50 or 60 of you, thank you very much for sticking with the latest growth spurt that the channel's had. I don't want you guys thinking that we're changing, okay? Uh, I'm just taking some time to test a couple of things. For those of you who have come from all of that growth, thank you very much. Welcome to the channel. I appreciate every single one of you. And uh, please stick around and uh, enjoy so i also want to now we're going to go into that list right but i also want to mention real quick a couple of people as they're basically i consider them more subscribers you know actually there's just one that's rainy frost so you may know rainy frost because not well know of rainy frost under his real name because he's actually a personal friend of mine he's actually helped give me guitars to review when I had nothing else to do or I wasn't sure what to do with the channel uh, so he gave me stuff to do for content and uh, so he's been a huge huge help so Rainy Frost thank you just a minute to mention people a few people I know have been there since the beginning are just really just good subscribers uh, Peg I'm sorry it's, it's Peg it's P-E-G-E -E. thank you uh, Big Keg there's a few others, I'm sorry, I'm trying to remember off the top of my head, but I can't. But all of you, thank you, everybody. So now we're going to start talking about these YouTubers that, if you're a new guitar player, you really should check out. Now, most of the, well, all these guys are guys who I've actually um, found to be really, really great people as far as uh, content creators. And they're really good at what they do. But they've also been really nice people to me as far as my growth as a YouTube creator. I want that out there so you guys understand. This is not some kind of favoritism. They, they've earned my trust and respect and I am sharing these people with you. All right. And they also happen to fall into this category of things that I think new guitar players need to find on YouTube. Right. Because you don't want to be looking at somebody like Paul David, who is a phenomenal, phenomenal teacher and phenomenal, phenomenal YouTuber. I can only hope to be as good as him one day. Uh, but if you're a day one guitar player, you might have difficulty finding stuff that's useful because his content has evolved for so long, right? Whereas someone who's a good music teacher who's just starting their own channel, well, that might be perfect for you because as you dive in with them, they've only got a few videos behind you that you need to check to get kind of caught up with until you're at speed and then you're at their live videos with other people and you're doing the exercises with them and things like that. And uh, so this is why I'm saying new, new YouTubers or newer YouTubers for new guitar players, okay? So... The first thing, and I'm assuming you have no guitar. So if you have no guitar, you're coming to YouTube and you're trying to learn how to play guitar, then I think the first place you need to go is to picking and flipping. He is a bit of a genius because he's figured out a way to have a, a YouTube channel that does it by giving away guitars. And that's not a cheap endeavor, let me tell you. So if you don't have a guitar and you want to learn how to play guitar, the first place you need to go is to picking and flipping, okay? And once you win that guitar over a picking flipping, right? Because it's, it's a raffle kind of thing. Uh, you, need to, you need a teacher, all right? So now I have a couple of guys on here. The first place you're going to want to go is to find somebody who's going to have the patience to deal with somebody who needs to build dexterity, right? So you need to go to the truth guitar method. Okay, this is run by Joel, son of Caesar. Yes, he's really is. His dad's really name is really is Caesar. I just screwed that up. That's his line. <laughs> so 
Uh, anyway, um, all right. So you want to check out Joel, son of Caesar, over at Truth Guitar Method because he's got the patience of a saint. He does this professionally offline he, he with kids as well as adults. So he's got all the patience in the world. His channel is still fairly new and he's working hard to build, uh, 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 build this system and everything. So you could jump right in at nearly day one with him and find yourself dealing with somebody who's got all the patience in the world and who will help you immensely. Joel is a great guy. So that's your first place to go. Once you've got some dexterity and you're looking to expand on the things that you're learning with Joel, and you should still be learning with Joel at this point, you want to go see Tim, Col uh, Tim, I almost said Coleman. <laughs> Sorry, Tim, Tim Holman. Tim Holman is another great teacher. He's when you want to start learning some songs and uh, doing some scale runs, things like that. Uh, this is the first place you should probably go. Uh, he does a lot of things with the major and the minor scale. He's really good at picking out songs to teach people. Uh, he's very, very well spoken and articulate. So you're going to have a great time and you're going to learn a lot from Tim Holman. And he's another guy who's really doesn't have as many subs as he really should and one day he will this is the time to get in with someone like him okay i find it really is i will i believe it really is beneficial to get in with someone like people like these early if you're if you're new it gives you a, you don't have to rush you don't have to feel like you have to dig through the catalog first before you jump in on the newer stuff all right now for those of you that RJ's cave isn't hang out enough uh, and you happen to also have Spanish as your first language you guys want to check out Cosas de Guitarra okay I know I didn't quite say that right it wasn't too bad I don't think Cosas de Guitarra is David Espinosa has a great channel over there um, I would go to his channel more if I was better at Spanish although there is text that you can see uh, I find that a little distracting from what's going on on the screen. So I don't go as much as I should, but trust me, if you're a Spanish speaker or you have no problem with that kind of thing with the, with the, with the text on the screen, go check him out. You're going to want to subscribe. Now, once you win that guitar and you've got the lessons under your belt, you're going to start wanting to know if this cheap guitar <laughs> that you won over, I'm joking over at picking and flipping is worth uh, modifying or if it's worth money or what and then you're going to want to take a look at pine top jackson all right pine top jackson is definitely a guitar historian he's a bit of a music historian and uh he's not it's not in a nerdy way it's not like you're going to go subscribe to some kind of museum channel it's not like that all right he's just a cool guy who happens to have a hobby of being a, a guitar historian uh, that kind of has a niche for the more, um, I, won't, I won't say oddball stuff, but the, the ones that tend to get left behind. You know, there were plenty of people out there doing the history on the Gibsons and the Fenders and the Gretches and all that stuff. Uh, and he likes that and does that too. But the other stuff has history that needs telling as well. So that's his thing. He's got some hobbies that he shares on his channel as well. So that's Pine Top Jackson. All right. One other honorable mention, and it's probably someone that some of you are going to want to hang out and, and, and check is, is Adam Burse. All right. Adam is another guy. He doesn't have a lot and lots of subscribers, but he puts out content regularly of his own. He's working on becoming an absolute beast on the uh, extended range guitars so he's definitely worth checking out don't forget to like subscribe hit the notification bell stick around for a few more seconds because some boxes are going to pop up there'll be a playlist there there's going to be some videos there so definitely stick around click one of those boxes when you do that you're not only going to be entertained and maybe learn something but you'll help you the guitar player thanks for coming guys until next time this is rj's cave take it easy